Now let's get a query app from template using the OETA service which I created in the previous step. So for that, select here, it starts from template or we can go from here, file and new project from template. So here I will select start from template. Select SAP Fury application and click on the start button. The next step here we have two options SAP Fury or duplicated templates. So keep here as it is SAP Fury and select a template which we want to use like basic, list report, or you page, analytical page, etc. Select list report, click on next. And in this step, first we have to select a data source. Here also we have multiple options like connect to a system, directly connect to a all data service using the URL. So here I will be using connect to a system. And here we have to select our backend SAP system. Here it is SAP BTPS for HANA. And in next step, we have to create OETA service which we have created in this backend system. Here enter the service name ZK underscore sales SRV. Then click on next. As I have only one entity, as many entities that SO header set, click on next. Configure the project. Here, first give the model name or in a small letter ZK sales app. Application title say sales report and project folder path you can keep as it is here in this folder our newly, uh, newly created project will be stored you can keep as it is and like by default system is selecting the UFI version so based on the source system or if you want to change this we can select the required one from the list and here select add deployment configuration and deployment configuration means after creating this application in Business Application Studio, when we want to deploy to backend SAP system, we have to select this option. We can keep remaining as it is now. Click on Next. The next step, select the deployment configuration. So here it is, target system is ABAP. We'll keep this ABAP system as it is. Here we have adapt a cloud for cloud foundry. I will keep adapt as it is and give the SAP UIFI adapt repository name. With this name, the object will be created under the PSP application in SAIT. So here I will give same name ZK. It's a ZK sales app one. Give the app description here, sales report app, and in the package, we have to enter here SAP package if you plan to transfer this to quality and production system. If not, only for testing purpose, we can go ahead with the local object as dollar temp. So here I will enter a package. So I created one package here as ZK underscore VTP, and I will use this TR for object. So in the package, instead of local, we'll enter ZK underscore BTP. And how do you want to create a transport request? So here it'll say, I want to enter it manually. We have different option here. Choose from existing, create new. So here I said enter manually and enter the TR number here. Once we enter all this detail. Okay, this is important. SAP UIFI web repository. So we can check our application in SCAT 
can also service in the SICF node using this object. Okay, now click on finish. The system is installing all the dependency. Now once the app is successfully created, you can check all the details in that folder. So here, open the folder. Expand this. Here you can see different subnodes are created. So here is the web app. So test, right click, click on preview application. And select here, first one is dot Fiori run. So this will open our application in a new window. As in this OLTA service, we don't have any annotations. So default column names and all will not appear by default on the screen. So here we can see there are no columns as of now. So to add the columns, go to setting option and select all the required column which we required on the screen and then click on this go button. So you should get some record on the screen. So I don't know why system is not displaying the record. Like in previous session, when I create application, I was able to see the records here. Okay, so this is like how we can create the app with no code, with the deployment option. What we'll do, okay, let's transfer this to, deploy this to SAP system, and then we'll run the same app in SAP to check whether the records are coming or not. So for that, in this web app, select here, open in integrated terminal. And here, we have to run some command like was npm space install, then npm space run space build. Okay, so we'll run different command for that to deploy this application into SAP. So first command is npm space install. And second command after this, we have to run npm space run space build. This will build the application for the deployment. So here you can see the build succeed, succeeded. Okay, the next we'll do is npm space run space deploy hyphen config. Okay, press enter. Now here you have to select the target system. So as you want to transfer to the web system, select here a web system, press enter. Then we have to select our destination. So you can see our destination here. Okay. So again, press enter because by default it is selected. If you have multiple destination, then we have to use, make use of arrow key to select that. Now here the SAP UIFI repository name. So as I given ZK sales app one, we can see by default that name here, or if you want to change, we can change from here also. Press enter. And this is a deployment description, sales report app. And how do you want to enter a package? Like enter manually. Press enter. So in, this is a package name. I want to install my application in this package. Press enter. How do you want to enter transport request? That also I given. And I'm starting. So in the same PR, I'm going to transfer this. Okay. So now it is started to wait for some time. Now the final step, final command we have to run is npm space run space deploy. Once this is done, the config part is completed. Then we'll run that last command. That is npm space run space deploy, press enter. See, 
start deployment okay yes so here we can see all the details which you enter like application name zk cells app one package tr number and the description so once the deployment is completed we'll check the same in SICF also in SEAT. Now here you can see deployment is successful. Now to we'll check in the SAP system. So earlier in my TR, I had only one object this package. Now let's expand the TR. Now here we can see along with this package, we can see the ICF service and our new applications here, ZK Sales App 1, the package info, and the BSP application detail. Now in a new session, first go to SEAT and here select the option as BSP application and select that internet name ZK Sales App 1, press enter. So here you can see our app is successfully deployed to the SAP system. You can see index.html page along with all other annotations file, highlighting file, local service and tests. Okay, so this means that our app is successfully deployed to the SAP system. Now to test what we'll do, go to SICF. Okay, go to transition code SICF. In the service path, in the service name, enter that name and execute. So here we can see one BSP and under UI file, you can see our application. Right click here and click on test service. If it is not working by default, replace this domain with the IP address of our server. So what I will do here, I will replace this domain with the IP address of the application server. And if I press enter, here we have to enter the user ID and password. Now we can see the same application which we have created in the business application studio. We can run directly using the SAP URL. The page is getting loaded. Now again select the columns from here and then click on go. See, now in SAP we can see all the columns with all the data. As in the older service I created only 10 records, so we can see all 10 records here. Okay, so now once we have this URL ready, so either we can configure this URL in the Fiori Launchpad or if you want to use in some other application, you can directly use this URL. So now our application is ready to directly test in the SAP system. So in this way, we are done to complete end-to-end -end scenario of creating OETA service, creating an app in the business application studio, and we have successfully deployed that application into SAP system, which we have monitored, which we have seen in SEAT and also in SICF. And finally, we did the testing of testing this application from the SICF and we can see the result here. Okay, so in this way, we done with this session. Thank you.